Chelsea's latest, from transfer plans to team dilemmas, your complete blues update. Hey Chelsea fans, welcome back to another exciting deep dive into all things of Chelsea FC on Chelsea Shed End. Today we're unpacking some massive news about potential transfers, team updates, and some fascinating behind-the-scenes stories that you won't want to miss. Grab your favorite drink, settle in, and let's talk about what's happening at the bridge. Who's coming? Chelsea's January transfer plans. The next Ruben Diaz? Tomas Araujo on Chelsea's radar. According to transfer expert Fabrizio Romano, Chelsea are actively looking at strengthening their centre-back options. One name that's causing quite a buzz is Benfica's Tomas Araujo. Could he be Chelsea's answer to Manchester City's Ruben Diaz? But here's the interesting part. While Chelsea clearly admire Araujo, getting him won't be easy. Remember how tough negotiations were with Benfica for Enzo Fernandez. Plus, as Football.London points out, mid-season transfers are always tricky to pull off. Question for you. Do you think Chelsea really need another centre-back with Fofana, Colwill, Badiashile, and Desaisai already in the squad? Victor Osiman update. Here's some news that might disappoint some fans. Victor Osiman isn't planning to leave Galatasaray in January, according to Sky Sports Germany's Florian Plettenberg. The Nigerian striker, who Chelsea tried to sign last summer, has been on fire in Turkey, scoring eight goals and providing four assists in just nine matches. While Galatasaray would love to keep him permanently, Napoli's asking price of £62.7 million might be too steep for them. Could this open the door for Chelsea in the summer? Time will tell. Current squad updates. The right-wing battle. Maduk versus Neto. One of the most interesting situations right now is the competition between Noni Maduk and Pedro Neto for that right-wing spot. Here's what's happening. Maduk just had a fantastic game for England, providing an assist for Oli Watkins. Neto responded with a goal for Portugal against Poland. Both players are making it really hard for manager Enzo Maresca to choose. As Football.London notes, while Maduk might still be the first choice, Neto is really pushing him hard for that starting spot. Who would you pick to start? Christopher Kunku's situation. Here's something that might worry Chelsea fans. Manchester United are showing interest in Christopher Nkunku. According to Le Quipe, the French forward is frustrated with his limited Premier League appearances. However, Chelsea are standing firm and don't want to sell, especially to a Premier League rival. Rising stars. Tariq George, a future star? How about some exciting academy news? Jaden Sancho has given a massive endorsement to young Tariq George, saying the 18-year-old has the world at his feet. George has already made five appearances for the first team and is impressing in training. Could he be the next big thing from Chelsea's famous academy? Behind-the-scenes stories. Cole Palmer's revelation. Here's a fascinating story. Cole Palmer has revealed he wasn't even going to go to Chelsea and had to be persuaded. Speaking to GQ, Palmer shared how he made his decision during his last training session at Manchester City. I remember training on a Wednesday at City in the afternoon, and the news was they're trying to agree a fee. Every time the ball went out I'd ask the kit man or the doctor if they've agreed the fee yet. Anthony Gordon's Chelsea near miss. Remember when Anthony Gordon almost joined Chelsea? The Newcastle star has revealed how close he came to joining the Blues in 2022, saying he was desperate to go and work with Thomas Tuchel. Interesting to think about what might have been, right? What's next for Chelsea? With January approaching, several questions remain. Will Chelsea make a move for Tomas Araujo? How will Maresca handle the Maduk Neto situation? Can they keep hold of Nkunku amid interest from other clubs? Will young talents like Tariq George get more first-team opportunities? Final thoughts. It's an exciting time to be a Chelsea fan. The club seems to be balancing youth development with smart transfer market moves. While some players might be frustrated with playing time, the competition for places shows the depth of quality in the squad. What do you think about these developments? Which story interests you the most? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated with all things Chelsea. Want more Chelsea content? Hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to never miss an update. Let's build this Chelsea community together.